All right, let's stay in some New York politics. Who will be the Republican nominee to challenge New York Governor Andrew Cuomo next year? Uh, we're right around the quarter. Uh, a lot of people think it could be the guy on your screen here, Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino. In recent weeks, Astorino, he's met with the New York a Republican congressional delegation in D.C., went up to Buffalo, met the conservative firebrand Carl Palladino. But there is at least one state Republican who is not convinced Mr. Astorino should run. Andrew loves this. Here's what uh, the Republican hairpiece in pocket with Donald Trump had to tweet. New York Republican leader Ed Cox is pushing my friend Rob Astorino into political suicide. Results won't like, won't be pleasant. It goes on to say, I like Rob. He's a friend and a really good guy. Sadly, he's got zero chance of beating Cuomo and the two to one Dems for governor. Okay. Um, Are you pushing Astorino into this? Yeah. No. Are you? Look, we're running parallel. Uh, actually, you missed. We went down to Soma Sel Futuro down yes. in Puerto Rico. He was terrific. Mostly Democrats, spoke in Spanish partly, wowed him. Then we went out to the Republican Governors Association, and he got together with some of the sitting governors and aspirin governors out there, and they just, cr they crowded on. They, he's got that kind of personality. I, listen, I had him at this up. table many times. Um, he won Westchester Two to by one a big Democratic, margin with yeah. a huge Democratic registration advantage, but nobody knows him outside of, you know, maybe Rockland and Putnam, okay? You got better name recognition, by the way, I hear your name. No, no, no one knew Barack Obama. And, uh, you you and skipped over that. Let and, me ask and, it again. Until he won the are, primary. Are you thinking and primary, primary, primary. Are you into so. Barack Obama? <laughs> Well, if, when you talk about coming from nowhere and you're not being known outside of the area. You're saying his, him, outside, you're saying his political right skills are that good? Mr. Oh, his Cop. political skills are extraordinary. Chairman, and That's Mr. why Cop. I did as well Are you as considering running Westchester. yourself? Uh, no, I'm the chairman of the party. My job is to get are, people to run. My governor. job is to get people to okay. run. Right? Well, how about so that's, uh, why, that's why I accompanied them to Soma Sel Patoro, out to the RGA. We're working together. And as Bob McCarthy of the Buffalo News said, observing him two days ago out in western New York, talking to a lot of western New York Republicans, he's running in everything but a formal declaration. Okay. To that point, the issue that was raised by Trump, and I don't give him any credibility for anything, but at least his math's right. You got a huge registration disadvantage. You got an incumbent opponent. Whoa, 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 you got, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a second, a lot of money in his pockets. Um, and Astrino's got really very limited name recognition in the state. If, if is I it political uh, uh, You say a two to one. Well, right. you know, Westchester is two to one Democratic. New York State's two, one, two to one Democratic. If you can win Westchester, he can win in New York. And by the way, Republicans won in two to one Democratic city of Binghamton, the mayoralty, two to one Erie County, Democratic Erie County. Uh, absolutely. But, this, but there is a wave that is sweeping not just across New York, but across the country. Astrid didn't and exactly we beat, the beat heavy hitters in his, I mean, he beat a, a uh, probably stayed one term too many sitting county executive uh, four, year, four years ago in Andy Spano. Uh, he beat a, a little known and, and you could argue uh, not great on television or not the greatest campaigner Noam Bramson, the mayor of New Rochelle, in the county executive race. He, he, he's got enough game, you really think, to beat Andrew Cuomo? I, I believe the, Andrew Cuomo can, it will be reelected. I sincerely believe Andrew Cuomo will be reelected, but New York State can be there, yeah. a conservative <laughs> state. And, and, and Western New York is, has more in common with the Midwest than mm -hmm. its sensibilities and its politics okay. and its values well, than other areas. Except and there's suburban, fair enough. Nassau, but here's, Suffolk, here's Westchester, it's Rockland, Duchess, Orange. It's an uphill battle for Republican. It's an uphill battle Probably for Democrat, Republican. That's absolutely right. It's an uphill battle for a Republican to win statewide office in New York. We all know that. Mm -hmm. But it becomes further complicated when you have the conservative um, party here who's got to give their blessing. And Carl Palladino, who I think, forget about setting you guys back, brought you back to the prehistoric age four years ago. He now um, said, I'll get behind Astorino if and only if, he says this week, if he denounces and moves to get rid of Dean Skelos and any Republican who voted for the SAFE Act. So you have him putting conditions, and he says if you don't, he's going to run for the uh, conservative uh, party, in effect, uh, standard bearer. This is where you guys have, you have to deal with the Paladinos of the world? Well, yeah, yeah, there's one, you're missing one thing. Both candidates really agree on the issues. Mm -hmm. And Rob Astorino is a social conservative as well as being a fiscal conservative. The fact that he won in Westchester under those circumstances shows his political <coughs> skills. There, I just don't see any way that, and I'm not going to speak to the conservative party, that he does not get the nomination. No, no, no but the idea that party. Dean Skelos, 
has to be removed because he had the audacity. The Senate majority leader, uh, uh, the Senate leader and Republican, I can't keep track anymore as how the Senate works, but that, that he had the audacity to vote for the SAFE Act, it's almost like you have a Tea Party litmus but, test you see in other places. But a candidate has no power, let alone a governor has no That's up to the but members to of the Palladino assembly and, uh, listen, and of the Senate. Do you Senate. seriously have to listen to Carl Palladino? By the way, Carl Palladino is a serious Lunatic? individual. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what he's doing with the school board in Buffalo? Taking it I mean, back to him. It was one know. of the worst school districts in the, uh, probably in the United States, and he has gotten on that school board, and he has shaken it up because he cares about the kids there. Just what he's doing. He, he's chair. not. He's not calling out Palladino like we all do because he's got to. Well, be no, no, Chairman, they're not going to yeah. respond to Palladino because it, it, they can't win on that issue. Rob Astorino is an excellent candidate. He may one day be governor of New York State. It will not be up against Andrew Cuomo. Donald Trump is right. It will. It almost amounts to political suicide. I would never say that again on the show. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> for Astorino to challenge Cuomo. It's a big party. It's a big tent. It's not my party, but there are a lot of people involved. And in the conservative party, Mike Long and Jerry Kassar and the executives, the county executives from around the state, are serious people. Uh, Senator Skelos is a serious person who has accomplishments in the state senate, which is fractured not between two conferences but three. I, you know, people could spout off as much as they want. I don't, you know, people should run. I, said, I, I hope the governor gets reelected. Yeah. But uh, uh, Andrew Cuomo did not use his political capital with respect to jobs and the economy. Uh, he's basically talked about those issues, used taxpayers' money to advertise about those issues, but did very little. Mm -hmm. he, put his, he put his capital in the gay marriage, yeah. in, in if, uh, gun if control, if and things that the people of New York as a whole did not really. As a result, he kept his polls high at the start, but they've been steadily going down and a recent Siena poll had his job approval at 40 I, I, I would say I'm that not saying his work the right with, with, with on the right circumstances. Public universities you, partnering with businesses win. to create jobs in Albany well, and in Rochester and Buffalo. But the longer you're in office and the more decisions you make, the polls do come down for any governor. No, and then when you no, come back in the campaign, then it moves If you along. closed your eyes on social issues, sure, he's not only a Democrat or progressive, on economic issues, uh, every Republican I brought in here likes him because he might as well be a Republican um, compared to at least his predecessors. Right. All right. We're going to we're gonna jump to break. When we come back from the break, we're going to talk about more political issues in New York and around here. Stay with us, everybody. We are back.